Ukraine will receive six TRML 4D radars from Germany. What they are needed for? Ukraine will receive additional six TRML 4D air surveillance radars for air defense needs from the German manufacturer Hensold. As reported by the company, the purchaser of the radars is the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. However, payment for them will be made by the government of Germany as part of military aid. The cost of purchasing six TRML 4D radars amounts to over 100 million euros. The radars will be delivered to Ukraine later this year. TRML 4D radars are necessary to enhance the country's air defense capabilities. TRML 4D is a medium range C band radar from the TRML family developed in 2018. TRML 4D uses the latest digital radar technology. It is capable of detecting, tracking, and classifying different types of aerial targets. A focus is on small, fast and low flying and or maneuvering cruise missiles as well as aircraft and helicopters. It ensures the rapid detection and tracking of about 1,500 targets in a radius of up to 250 kilometers. It is equipped with a phased array antenna with electronic scanning based on gallium nitride transmit receive modules. The system also has a mean time to repair of less than 0.5 hours and features built-in test equipment to ease maintenance and minimize downtime. Several systems are under contract to equip the Ukrainian air defense. A notable feature of the radar is its ability to operate autonomously and thus detect airborne targets. TRML 4D can interact with Iris T missile defense systems. Ukraine received its first TRML 4D radars back in October 2022. However, in April 2024, the German government announced that Ukraine was given one TRML 4D as part of the regular military aid package, although this could be a radar that was ordered as early as 2023. Russian anti-satellite nuclear weapon could be devastating, Pentagon warns. U.S. intelligence officials started looking into a slate of secret Russian satellite launches in early 2022, later discovering that Russia was developing a weapon that could destroy thousands of satellites in the Earth's atmosphere. That weapon, with potentially devastating nuclear capabilities, could destroy thousands of government and commercial satellites used for a variety of purposes, from mapping to internet and cell phone connection, U.S. officials have warned. A senior Defense Department official told lawmakers that Russia is developing an indiscriminate anti-satellite nuclear device that would pose a threat to all satellites operated by countries and companies around the world. The concept that we are concerned about is Russia is developing and, if we are unable to convince them otherwise, to ultimately fly a nuclear weapon in space, which will be an indiscriminate weapon that would not distinguish among military, civilian or commercial satellites, John Plum, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy, said at a House Armed Services subcommittee hearing. According to NBC News, he said the threat was not imminent, but that the Pentagon and the entire Biden administration were concerned about the program. Asked about the potential effect of such a weapon, Plum said low Earth orbit, the most common orbit for satellites, would be rendered unusable for possibly up to a year because of the radiation from a nuclear detonation. It is difficult to estimate the precise impact of such a weapon, depending on the size of a nuclear explosion, Plum said. But he said a rough assessment would suggest satellites that aren't hardened against a nuclear detonation in space, which is most satellites, could be damaged and affected, and some would be caught in an immediate blast. Plum's comments are the first time the Biden administration has discussed the potential Russian anti-satellite capability at an open congressional hearing. UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron pledged £3 billion or US$3.74 billion US dollars in annual military aid to Ukraine for as long as it takes, adding that London has not objected to the use of these weapons to strike targets inside Russia, Cameron said this in an interview with Reuters. Cameron stated that Ukraine has the right to use the weapons provided by London to strike targets on Russian territory and that Kiev should decide whether to do so. Ukraine has that right. 
Just as Russia is striking inside Ukraine, you can quite understand why Ukraine feels the need to make sure it's defending itself. We will give 3 billion pounds every year for as long as is necessary. We've just really emptied all we can in terms of giving equipment, some of equipment is actually arriving in Ukraine today, while I'm here, he added. Cameron, UK Prime Minister from 2010 to 2016, who only came back to politics a few months ago, met with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kaleba and President Volodymyr Zelensky during his second visit to Kiev as Foreign Secretary, the UK's most senior diplomat welcomed the US Congress's allocation of the long-awaited $60 billion aid package, stating, it's absolutely crucial, not just in terms of the weapons it will bring, but also the boost to morale that it will bring to people here in Ukraine. However, Cameron did not directly answer a question about his opinion on how the potential re-election of Republican leader Donald Trump to the White House could affect U.S. support for Ukraine, saying, it's not for us to decide who the Americans choose as their president, we will work with whoever that is. He added that Ukraine's allies' strategy should be to ensure Ukraine has the upper hand before the elections in the U.S. in November.